Hello, my name is Sarah Whitenight and I am the Suicide Prevention Program Manager for the Colorado Army National Guard. And I'm sitting here with Sergeant Major Juszczyk. And we're here to remind you that September is Suicide Prevention Month. And so during Suicide Prevention Month, the goal is to facilitate conversations among our soldiers and leaders regarding suicide. And it's important that we're able to talk to each other about these difficult issues. During the past 12 months, we've had four suicides across our force. One is too many. Every soldier and airman that decide to put on the uniform and make that effort to do the right thing and the best thing is imperative to our nation and imperative to our organization. Every soldier and airman are important. One death to suicide is too many. There's a lot of stigma around suicide in the military and there's a lot of stuff that sometimes we feel like we may not know or understand. And one of the important things to remember is just being able to talk about it being able to recognize the warning signs and how to help. And some of those are the big questions is how we can help. How do you have those conversations with folks and how do you ask about suicide? Because it's not easy, but as we go through September and as we go through our day-to-day -day lives, just being able to talk to each other can make a huge difference. Having that person who will listen to you when you're struggling can really help and it can save a life. We all care about everyone in the Colorado National Guard. It does not matter if you're, if you're a, an airman, a soldier, a civilian, a contractor, we all care about each other. And one of the best things about our organization is that we're small and that we're a family. And this small family cannot lose another person to suicide. There are leaders out there that care about you who are willing to listen. We have a wonderful ministry team here who are always there and always ready to support in whatever way they can. There are community resources and walk-in centers and counselors who all want to be there for you. And it's important that we remember that. Suicide makes us feel like we're alone and it makes us feel like there's no way out and no possible way through the darkness. But I promise you, not only from talking with so many survivors um, and hearing their stories, but there is light at the end of the tunnel and it does get better. And as we connect to protect with each other, that's where we're going to see the difference. And that's where we're going to save lives. We want to thank you for your dedication and your service. And we want you to know that you're not alone. There are so many resources available to help you if you're struggling. And we're here for you. And so please reach out if you need help. And for those of you that have intervention training or are knowledgeable about suicide, be willing to be that hand to reach out and talk to folks when they're struggling. I just want to thank you all for your service. Putting on a uniform, wearing a uniform, supporting the military, supporting the Guard. I care about you and I thank you for everything that you do.